Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com, and it has happened, and Thrivecart has released a massive update. And in this video, you're going to get a full walkthrough, the first impressions. I'm not an expert in this new editor yet, but I know enough, I've kicked the tires enough to show it with you and help you make a conscious buying decision if Thrivecart is the platform for you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into it here. And I'm here on one of my test accounts with Thrivecart, and I can see here, under products, everything looks the same. If you've seen any videos about Thrivecart before, this all looks the same. Let's go ahead and create a product and you'll see the difference as we go. So I'll create a digital product and let's just name this a uh, YouTube test, YouTube show. Don't need anything here. We're just kind of setting up some basic details. The pricing is the same. We're going to make this a $5 product, save it. And we'll skip through the stuff we don't need. We'll offer a bump offer. Great. And so this bump is going to be called a fantastic bump. $7 bump offer. Next payment processors. Let's create something really fast. This is not like a full tutorial of Thrivecart. I'll do a full review once I've been a bit more uh, used to it. But for right now, uh, I just want to show you the new stuff because this is really, really game changing in my opinion. All right. Click, click, click. Let's just skip this for now. What's going on here? Okay. Stripe, my account. Oh, I clicked add new. That was my fault talking. All right. We'll skip over the affiliates. We really want to get to um, support incomemesh.com. I just want to get to the, the good part here of actually creating this thing. All right. So now when you get to the checkout step, what it used to be was this legacy system where you had these different setups. And just to remind you guys, if you, you know, maybe were looking at Thrivecart before, this was the level of customization you had. Everything was static and how it was laid out. If you wanted to add bullet points, you click up, you put these little things here and it adds them directly there. To see what your, your page is actually looking like, you had to go to the preview button and continuously check it out and see if it's doing what you want it to do. Very, very limited in the flexibility you had. So this is the new options. If we, let's just go back to the type, I'm going to click over here to the new carts. So let's take, take a look at, we got one step, two step, embeddable and pop-up. Those are our current options under the new cart. We've had a few new ones. It's called multi-step. Now we've got still the single step, which is pretty classic. The sales cart. We're going to look at this one very heavily, the embeddable, which is great. And the pop-up, which is cool too. So let me just show you the sales cart because this is the one that I am fully blown away by. I'm extremely excited for. We're going to go next and we'll launch the editor. So if you're used to any page builders in WordPress, get excited. This is kind of like going that direction where we click the button. It loads up a front end editor and I will go ahead and hide my face for just a little bit. So you guys can kind of take it in and see what's going on here. Kick the tires a little bit with me. So what happens is this is pulling up its own web page and you get to Instead of just like clicking on and adding some bullet points, you can drag and drop a full sales page onto this template. So boom, I want to add a header. Maybe I want the header to be really big and we'll call this revealed the new way of creating sales pages in Thrivecart, because I truly believe that's what these guys are going after. And we'll, we'll let, you know, time tell if they've achieved it so far. It's looking pretty promising. Okay, so pretty standard in a sales page like this would be to have a video down below. So I can drag a video in, do exactly what I want to do with it. If I want different layouts, I can put some text beside the video. I can put two videos side by side. I would never recommend doing that. And so let's just settle on this one video, kind of a hero video or a sales video sales letter. And then under the video size, look at this. I can make it take the full width, only a certain amount. Let's say that feels good. And now let me go ahead and grab a video to add into this one here. So I just grab, grab the embed code from one of my video hosts and I'll paste it in here and I'll just say done. And so now we're not going to see it yet on the, on this editor side, but we'll see it on the front end and then we can add some more things. So let's say we want to have a divider underneath here, boom, divider. We can still change the color, the size, the thickness of it, say one pixel and you know, maybe even like that very light divider and the spit, you can make dotted or you know, all sorts of cool things here. Let's go and add a subhead subheader here. This is a full build directly in the right card. You get the idea. We're going to add some check with some bullet parts, bullet, bullet parts, some bullet points down here. 
just so excited, guys. So bullet one, bullet two, benefit three. So what's also cool, these bullet points are not very sexy. We're going to fix that real quick. Let's select them, make them a little bit bigger, maybe like a 20. That's nice. And then the style, they don't have to just be bullets. They could be check boxes with a circle. They could be just circles. They could be rockets, I believe. Ooh, I like those rockets. And then we can change the color. And it, unfortunately, it changes the color of everything, the text and the bullet. I wonder, there might be a way to change that, but I'm not seeing that yet. So again, this is first impressions that just released like an hour ago. That would be something I would want to see changed where I could separate the color of the text from the color of the icon. But we'll just go black. It's fine. Add testimonials in. And it looks like the testimonials are already set up with different designs. I want maybe three testimonials across. And you can directly edit right here. This is nice. Let me add some images so you can see that as well. We'll add an image in between these guys. And let's add, let's say that this is actually a thumbnail from my heads up about this change coming earlier today. So kind of coming full circle here, make the image bigger. Cool. All right. And when you're happy, let's just add a couple more things here. Let's add a countdown timer just to be kind of annoying. Like countdown timers, nobody really likes them, but they're effective. Last chance to buy. And then you can also set, if I click on the timer, it's going to be, let's say six hours and 11 minutes. And so you can see here, you have the easy toggle between, oops, got rid of it an evergreen countdown. So as soon as they land on this page, the countdown is always going to be a certain amount for that user or a fixed deadline, uh, which is going to be for product launches or, you know, discrete sales you're running where you can set those up as well, whichever one you want. I'm going to switch to evergreen and I've got my settings there. And when the timer ends, you can replace the cart with a message, send them to another page, a lot of options here, which is really, really interesting. All right. Lastly, let's add some guarantee seals down below and we can add, let's see, full refund guarantee as an option. And we can also over here, take a look. You could want to add some text, you know, what the guarantee headline is and the text, or maybe just a second seal. So maybe not a 14 day guarantee. We'll say something like award winning. Cool. So that is now a sales page and a checkout page all together. We didn't need to try to take a very minimal thrive cart setup a checkout page and embed that into our own maybe elementor maybe some other wordpress page builder this is all done directly here what you'll also notice is we have the cart page up top we also have the success page so this is step two so if you want to customize your success page which you should it's just as easy as doing this so you can say thank you for your purchase maybe you want to add a an image or a thank you let's just add an image of the product that they bought and then some text on, you know, here's what to do. Step two. All right. You get the idea. It's a page builder. Very cool. Let's just make this center lined. Great. So we'll say next. And I'm happy with this. And what's also cool, what I didn't show you is you can save the design that you're working on. You can save it as a template. And so if you make a new product or you want to make a variation, you don't have to start from scratch every time, obviously. And that'll add in. You can always copy the design from other products as well. All right. So let's go next. Next. I'm not going to worry about behavior. It's not the purpose of this video, but there are a lot of behavior things you can do. Now I could be done and just launch this and we can just view it real quick and you'll see this is how it's going to look. It looks really good for being the first release of a page builder inside of a shopping cart platform of Thrivecart. This looks really good, but let's take it one step further and let's make this a sales funnel as well, because just selling one product or one product in a bump is not all that exciting. Let's make it a, fun a funnel here. So we'll go here and we'll enable the funnel. And now for upsell number one, let's say we have this upsell and a downsell. What happens immediately is you see these buttons off to the side here in your upsell area where you can launch the editor for the upsell itself. So I'll come here and launch the page editor, or I can copy the design from ones I've already played around with in preparing for this video. So let's come here to the launch page editor and it gives you a very standard looking one click upsell page. So here it's very barren, not, not a lot going on, but you've got a lot of options here as well. So let's add another video in. 
And let me just add the same video for the sake of brevity. Put that in. Let's make the video bigger. Let's put a headline above the video. I'm, I mean, this is my first few minutes of playing with the platform. It's really intuitive. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of Thrive Architect or Elementor, but it has a really cool hidden benefit I'll talk about in just a second. So I'll say, wait, want to upgrade. You get the idea. You know, you can design pages all you want. Um, I think I've shown all these different elements. So let's just put a divider there, which is an interesting idea. All right. And we can also view it on desktop and mobile. So you can see what it's going to look like on different platforms, which is pretty cool. And if you don't like this kind of page look, where it's a darker background with a white, um, white content, you can also change the content page background to white and it'll make it a very clean, narrow page, which I think is a good look. I think it's a good way to go. So I'll complete this one. It'll save it and I'll come to the down cell and I'll launch this editor and it looks kind of the same. So we'll kind of replicate this process down cell. Please don't go just playing around. Just put an image here for something different, offer them something different. And I can also align the image to the right or the left. One thing I would like to see, I don't see this yet. I might just be missing it is I don't see how I can put text side by side with an image. And there it is. My apologies. <laughs> Drag the text in and then I can put an image here and the text there. So let's do that. So I don't need this text or this image anymore. I'll delete that element and then we can definitely want to increase the font. So, uh, would you like this as well? Cool. And also it looks like you can even make some adjustments to the text color of the uh, no thanks button. So if you want to be annoying, you can make the size really, really small or really, really big. Have fun with it. All right, cool. So we're done here. We'll say complete. And we have our funnel set up. We'll just hit save sales funnel. And now let's check it out. All right, so here's our sales page. Fantastic. It's a multi-step. So I'll put some information in here. And let's say I also want to take up on the bump offer here. So I'll click that. I'll see my total is $12 and I can hit continue. And it goes to step two, which is credit card. So I'll just put in the credit card information here and complete order. So if all is good with the world, this should take me to the upsell page, which it did. And you can play the video if you choose to, or I could set this up to autoplay as well. It depends on how I want to set it up myself. And if they say no to the upsell, I can take them directly to the downsell. Um, you'd probably want to put maybe the price a little bit more prominently, which you can definitely do with this new editor, which is great. So I'll say yes to this one. And this should take me to the completed uh, invoice page or success page that we'll see how we customize this as well. Thank you for your purchase. Shows you the dynamic total of what you bought. And it can go directly to your download links, directly to however you choose to set it up yourself. All right, so we walked through this together. Let me give you a couple of my first impressions of this. I will say it is not the most developed, the most mature page builder in the world. I don't think it's trying to be. I don't think it needs to be. Here's what I see happening a lot more now. Everybody can design these super flashy sales pages that has animations and buttons rotating and flipping and growing and decaying. Everybody can do that now. And so what I think we're going to see a lot in 2020 is maybe a bit more of a simplistic design when it comes to selling things. I've talked to several entrepreneurs, been to many conferences, and not in all cases, but a good number of them are having more success where it's a good video, some clear bullet points, a few boxes and a few images along the way, but not so many crazy page transitions or 40 different colors or trying to all work together on the sales page. They're focused on the message and the marketing, not necessarily on the design, which can honestly distract you from the conversion. So what I've also noticed in other areas, for example, if I'm running uh, pay-per-click ads for people, I had this amazing opt-in page, colorful design, testimonials, check marks, everything. It converted pretty well. I just went to a simple old headline and sign up here, converted three times better. So with that said, I think that the lack of maturity on Thrivecart's page builder is not a disqualifier. I think it's still fantastic. And I'm going to share with you my secret like ingredient or the secret weapon that I think is why I could start using this for all my sales pages as well. Don't know yet, but I want to tell you what I think is fantastic. 
All right, so let's pop back into the Thrivecart dashboard and let's do a couple things together. I wanna to show you, let's just duplicate this just by clicking this little guy here, clone this product. Now check this out. I'm gonna come in and edit the product here and let's quickly do something like change the price point from a $5 product to a $25 product, right? Just like that, give yourself a five times raise if conversions stay the same, <laughs> right? That's an important if. So we've done that, we can change the design, you get the idea. I'll save the changes I've made here. And if I look at this new checkout page, again, I've got the full, uh, the full product, the full page, the full sales message, but now the pricing is different. Why I think this is a huge opportunity for anybody who sells things online is this button right here. If I click over to AB tests, what I can do, and this is so much more complicated with any other system that I know of. So let's go ahead and create a first AB test. And what this does, our first product here, oh, it, it can't be a test product. So let me do a live product. Apologies. Let's come back to our products and let's just make this live real fast. Make it live. And let's come back here. This guy, edit, make it live, save and get URL. Okay, we're good to go. Come back to our products, our tests, and let's create a test. So now I can select this product and I can select that product. All right, so my first A, B test. You can name it, you know, testing five versus 25 core offer price. Now, what is the goal of the test? Do you want the most conversions, just the most sales period, or do you wanna make the most money across the entire funnel? Or lowest card abandonment, just make sure that people stay on the page, right? So these are the three goals. Highest income is gonna be a pretty important goal if you wanna make money online. So I'll click this guy, and then just two more options to select here. When should the test run till? So if you wanna run a campaign, maybe give it two weeks to run. So maybe I'll say the 26th, I can stop it and you can give it your own custom URL. So we'll just call this one test one. We'll create the test and we'll copy this URL and let's go to it in a new window. And so let's go and just see what we get. We got the $25 version here. We'll put it in again. We'll probably still get the 25. Oh, now we get the $5 version. So it's going to alternate the price point or whatever you change. You could change the design to try to get your sales page messaging on point. You could change the price point to try to optimize and you know see if increasing the price actually makes you more money or less money. A lot of different things you can do here. And with Thrivecard, because it has the ability to build the page, host the products, and do all the integrations with your email system and your website and all this other stuff, it is uniquely positioned to give you all the power you need to optimize your funnel without having to uh, maybe set up a split test in Thrive Optimize, which remember, if you look at my tutorial that I'll put in the description as well to kind of show how this whole thing all comes together to build a business, using Thrive Optimize is good because I can see how many people made it to my custom thank you page, but if I change the price points on version A versus version B, Thrive Optimize isn't able to know that because it's a different system. So here you have this unique new superpower where if you can be okay with the style of the page, which personally I am because I'm not really a designer, but if you're okay with it, then you can do amazing split tests that you can't really do with any other platform except for maybe ClickFunnels I think can do it and Kartra and some of the others. But for just a shopping cart, if you're a WordPress guy, but you want to be able to sell stuff and use funnels for that, this is the creme de la creme that I'm seeing so far. So those are my first impressions. I think the pricing has stayed the same so far. So if you're interested in this, if you like this video and you want to give it a shot, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. I am pretty excited for this. I think you can see my honesty in this. Like I'm actually really excited for this because looking for ways of making your cart and your website and all this stuff hooked together can give anybody ulcers and frustrations. So simplifying is a good thing here. If you want to check it out, go to incomemesh.com slash thrivecart. There'll be a link down below. And I look forward to hearing your feedback. Let me know what you think about this new cart platform. Put the video, put your comments down below as all the good stuff. And if you like being on the bleeding edge of the updates here in the online business world, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.